Hello everyone, welcome to Malik Jar 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, today I am going to share my own uh, personal experience what I had when, when I gave an interview with Oracle. Uh, that's true, uh, I gave an interview for Oracle India Private Limited, uh, Oracle Corporation. So the interview type was uh, a Zoom uh, meeting and uh, happened on uh, June 15th, 2020. And the interview went uh, as long as like 1 hour 30 minutes, 1 hour 40 minutes approximately. So uh, when I had the uh, interview after that, you know, I tried to remember all the questions. I know I, I tried to wrote down all my questions, whatever I had interaction during the interview. So and then I put down here. I wanted to share with you guys because, uh, you know, uh, getting into Oracle and cracking Oracle interview is uh, one of the most challenging interview. Uh, I can say because uh, the interview went uh, approximately one hour, 30 minutes, one hour, 40 minutes. And then the questions are so much uh, tricky and then you know so much challenging to myself and uh, I try to make it uh, everything as my level best uh, you know uh, uh, and then this uh, this session is going to be very helpful for the guys who are really uh, you know preparing for the interview and these are valuable questions I believe that based upon my experience I'm 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 saying this these questions are very very valuable so one has to understand and in, in details so let's get started with the questions how how the questions look like uh, the the first question if you see here the first and foremost question they asked me like explain explain cluster cluster where startup sequence right and uh, uh, explain you know vm stat output what you check in vm stat and i was stat you know what you check in i was stat output you know uh, everyone knows that i was stat vm stat all linux commands and os analysis but what you check inside that inside what you look inside that output so that's a challenging part right so these are the tricky questions and uh, cluster web services are not coming up you know these are the common uh, issue we come across whenever we are working with react or cluster web and as a first point what you will check from where you will start that's a tricky question again and the, the, the fifth question is patch level mismatch between the cluster nodes right what you check and what is your solution even though the, the extended question is even though patches are same across cluster nodes my cluster is telling me patch level is mismatch what you will check it and how you will troubleshoot and the next question is cluster where pre-patch and post-patch whenever we do patching we do pre-patch and post-patch command before patching the grid home so what exactly that pre-patch and post-patch will do and then why we will run that pre-patch and post-patch again this is again everyone will do the patching you know we don't know what it will do so if you understand these all answers, you know, it is a, it is internal concept. It is very, very useful if you understand all these answers. And the seventh question is GPNP process to start, what it will look, right? So we know GPNP process will start and then other subsequent process will start followed by. So, but what is the dependency for GPNP? Uh, GPNP, profile, GPNP process is depends upon which file or which process and what is the dependencies similarly cs cssd process to start what it will look and how you will troubleshoot and the next question is crst process to start what it will look right so this process we know and then what are the sequence we know but what is the hard dependence what is the soft dependence is that the tricky questions right so going to the 10th questions in exadata db node is not able to talk to cell nodes and what you will check at the first point right so in normal uh, traditional database, if the DB nodes are not able to talk, communicate to storage server, what to what we will do? We do TNS ping, we do NS lookup, and we try to connect to storage server. But in Exadata, at the first check, what you will do? Other than TNS ping, other than uh, sorry, other than ping, other than NS lookup, there's a one one process we need to check. What you will check, right? And the scan is not able to communicate to my database. My business is going to start in next five minutes. Uh, a customer is complaining this issue and then at an immediate solution what you will recommend customer to use it instead of scan and then at a later point what are your troubleshooting ways or what are you how you will troubleshoot right so this is one of the important questions again and uh, in in asm we always come across the disk repair time fast disk resync what that mean fast disk resync is one of the brilliant features and then what that mean and i have exadata three nodes with high redundancy I have lost one disk in cell one. Are you able to continue with your patching cell nodes in a rolling fashion? This is again, you know, uh, patching and you know, patching process. Uh, again, this is one of the tricky question in high redundancy and normal redundancy. And the question number 14, it says, uh, in a high redundancy, how many number of voting disk you will be having? 
like default how many numbers of voting disk you, you will have in high redundancy in exa data and in normal traditional uh, rack system right and then 15th question is so what is asm deactivation come deactivation deactivation outcome and can you reboot a cell node or a storage server even though deactivation uh, outcome is not yes it is like dependent or something some other than yes so can you able to do reboot of cell node and then uh, what happens if you do reboot and what are the top weight events and how you resolve db sequential read and scatter read this is one of the common questions uh, in all of the interview they will ask and this is again one of the common question in most of the interview they will ask what is the db time and what is the lf time if my db time is more and lf time is less what that mean and if if the lf time is more and db time is more what that mean right so this is a common question and again how you will know which is my master node i have four node cluster and then how you know which is your master node at os level at the at the asm level or db level you can see you can check it out using a sql query but at os level how will check it out so this is one, again one of the tricky question and then uh, one of the disk is dropped and what you will check which log file you will check which alert file you will check before you request for the replacement of the disk in exa data or, or as well as normal disk storage right this is uh, you cannot uh, straight away request for the replacement what log and which log you will check it out and swap usage is too much right then usually we come across this kind of uh, uh, errors swap usage is too much and why it is too much and what is your uh, troubleshooting method and the load average is high on the server and what that mean like how you will check load average you know everyone will say it is high and then what you will check in that okay so the next question is can connections if we know that scan is going to handle load balancing as well as uh, high redundancy right so ha a high availability so load balancing like scan how it knows which node is having the least connection and which is lo least loaded how scan knows that information right so that's one of the tricky question and this is very very important uh, most of the interview they will ask my sga is 10 gb and my select statement is 50 gb output so how you can fit how you can fit this 50 gb output in 10 gb sga how the user get this 50 gb output even though my sga is 10 gb whether it is going to succeed or whether it is going to fail one of the tricky question so uh, these are the maximum questions i can remember and then i can put it down here uh, if i remember some more questions i will put it in my youtube channel so uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, I already, uh, if you search for Malik034 and then I made a playlist uh, like uh, backup recovery, 12C and performance tuning and real application cluster. If you check real application cluster and exa data and then uh, this uh, you know, performance tuning, you will get most of the answers and uh, you know, you can refer my videos and then you will get answer for all these questions. If at all you need answers, uh, I have already written answer for all these questions. You can personally ping me on my WhatsApp or on my, uh, you know, social media, YouTube, Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter. I can, uh, you know, suggest you all the answers. I can provide you all the answers. Uh, thank you guys.